Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show step by step how you can easily use Monday.com for designers. So the first thing you want to do is you simply click add here, choose from template, search our templates and write like design or creative process. You will find it right here. So you have most options here. Uh, you can have the creative process here that I recommend to definitely check out if you are working with a creative team or if you're working alone as a designer. This is the first thing. Or if you're working for a single project, you can just easily write here, single marketing project. So when you have it, uh, I'm going to have again, creative process. You can have the, also the option to uh, add here creative requests. So that's something you can do. So creative process and use template. Now we're just going to wait until it's going to load and then we are going to do it step by step together. Here, what we can find. So creative process, uh, first thing first in main table, we're going to see the incoming requests. We can have like, we can add a task by ourselves. So let's say record a video. Then we're going to have the priority if it's a medium low, then status if it's a working on it pending review. And you can always edit the labels guys. So if you come here, you can edit the label and you choose it. Creative type is if it's a video banner image cover, you choose it. Then you're going to also click here as a due date. Creative brief uh, that you would write here or someone else time tracking that you can start like how much time you actually spend on this and final asset it would you would upload and people can look at so these are the incoming requests you can easily take it and paste it here to that if it's going to be in progress or stuck and then on the bottom would be completed so here i can go further to calendar and in calendar i would find it uh, how it actually like the dates here now, of course, in the main table, guys, I forgot to show you, you can easily come and click plus here and you can add a column. So we can add a column of status, a timeline, numbers, time tracking. You can simply add dependencies, files, connect boards, priority, drop down, label. You can click here and uh, add more columns and you can even add more columns. Right. So that's something you can do. Then you're going to find the files here. Uh, you can upload files. This is the creative process, creative team request. So let's say that uh, you would find a request from the creative team. So let's say that uh, you would like edit here and okay, what do you want me to make? What do you, uh, the brief of it? Short posts, welcome video. Then you're going to find the Kanban view and this is really great that you would find everything here. Now you can like delete the, uh, you can have the cover columns with final, final asset that you would find a picture of the final thing. Let's say a picture of a YouTube thumbnail or uh, of a post on Instagram, right? So that's something that you would definitely find there. Uh, now, of course, you can simply uh, see have a have a welcome video completed life working on it and then you're going to find also the submitted requests and these would be all the submitted ones so then you're going to find also the creative dashboard and here in dashboard you would find it all as again per type and workload now when i would go to asset cards these are like the cards of all the items. Now when I would go back to the main table, uh, what you can find here is easily like all the incoming requests in progress completed. You can always add new group here and add multiple groups. So that's something you can do and that's something how it works. Now of course, you can click on calendar, you can click on files, You can choose it as much as you want. The next step is asset library. In asset library, uh, 
let's say you have a main table and you would have videos, images, logos, you could have like pictures here on a new group. And then uh, you like click on it. So you can easily add an item here or let's say I'm going to have a YouTube video and I'm going to have status here, right? If it's a uh, first draft waiting for approval, second draft. Then final version attachment, final version link, asset details, usage. And then pictures, right? So this is pretty much it, how we can use it. And this is how we can use for designers and for team tasks. But of course, guys, if you would click on add here, you can choose from template and click here on design. And you're gonna find also design weekly tasks. You can also the uh, digital asset management pixel art, client campaign or social media planner. This one, this is also a good one. So let's say that you want to combine the creative process with social media planning. And this is a really good way how we can do that. So that's another thing that I would definitely recommend for you to do. Now, uh, if you can have any questions, guys, regards how you can do it, how you can use it, what you can do and achieve, let me down below in the comments. Uh, you know how it goes, how it works. So yeah. Definitely check it up. And also for, let's say for the social media planner, that's, that's a really good one. And single project is a really great way how you can combine it. I have it right here. So when you can have the single project, you can combine it uh, with the creative process and have like execution here, lounge, planning. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you're going to have a great day and Goodbye.